Hi guys, in this video I am going to share some most useful and budget friendly interior design ideas. First and the foremost thing that you need to keep in mind is to set a budget limit with wide variety of options and designs available in the market. It's very easy to get carried away and end up shelling out more money out of your pockets than necessary. Secondly, take estimated quotations from your designer with accurate measurements of furniture and decor items with an estimated time of completion, desired material quality and intended designs. Try to include approximate charges for electrical points and the paint cost in the quotation itself. Also check for maintenance services with the designer. Thirdly, space planning. Uh, go for multifunctional or space saving furnitures and do not overcrowd the space with furnitures. And lastly, I would like to say that take samples for laminates, wallpapers, false ceiling paint. It's easier to assess quality and visualize how the design is going to look once complete. Coming to false ceiling, you can choose among the following popular false ceiling materials that is wooden either the POP or the PVC laminates. If the ceiling height is 10 feet or more, you can go for two level fall ceiling designs and if it is less than 10 feet, it is advisable to go for single level fall ceiling of 4 to 5 inch depth. For the TV unit, designer laminates are easily available in the market and if you would like to cut some cost, use wallpapers or textured paint behind the TV unit instead of wooden paneling or lures. For the most important modular kitchen setup, you can go for acrylic laminates or PVC laminates which comes in matte, glossy or textured finish and also go for tandem drawers or stainless steel drawers and if you are going for stainless steel, try to go for 304 grade. If the kitchen is not properly ventilated, go for a chimney either ductless or ducted. Exhaust fans are also useful in such cases. It is also advisable to use decorative glasses like the lacquered glass for your upper cabinets. At the time of fall ceiling, decide if you would like to go for floor to ceiling curtains. Floor to ceiling curtain creates an illusion of space. You can either choose curtain tracks or curtain rings which is the traditional rods. You can also go for the blinds or the roll up or you can go for normal curtain fabrics. Light colors also make room look bigger. For the dining walls, use of mirror makes the room look brighter and bigger. You can also use bevel mirrors or decorative mirrors. You can also add wooden paneling and a combination of mirrors for the same. For the selection of lights, go for a combination of branded and non-branded lights. If it is non-branded, go for the ones with extended warranties. For wooden furnishing, the most popular materials that are used are teak wood, veneer, gurgeon plywood or the MDF. Check for plywood grades your designer provides. The most popular grades are 710 and 303. 710 has higher termite resistance as well as higher resistivity to water as compared to 303. However, 303 is cheaper and easily available as compared to 710. So, in the kitchen you can go for 710 grade and other places you can go for 303 grade. Coming to veneer and teak based furniture, it requires polishing from time to time to get that rustic look. If you are going for a swing, make sure that you get the right size as per the space available. And Reversible swing is in trend these days so that it can be used from both the sides. Ensure that you would fasten it directly to the ceiling instead of false ceiling. Finally, for small apartments, try to use natural lighting, keep the design minimalistic and try to use space saving furnitures. I hope these ideas help you in designing your home. Please let us know in the comment section if additional information is required. Thanks for watching.